Welcome or welcome back to Y Gaming for a very welcome update to Sons of the Forest, which is actually quite surprising. I thought that after their 1.0 release, we wouldn't really see too much from them, especially this soon. The game released into 1.0 in February of 2024, and now April the 18th, they've just released a, another big update. This update adds a whole host of fixes, a bunch of improvements, and a couple of new features. Now granted, these aren't massive overarching features that are going to completely change the game, but they are ones that if you are still playing and you're building a community and trying to live off the land really, really effectively, these will help you a hell of a lot. Now this update is just a small patch, and they have said, Hello everyone, this is just a small patch that adds a new animal type, the ability to catch and hold and breed rabbits, and some small fixes and improvements. Now the new animal type is this here, the skunk. Now, if you are a fan of games like Sons of the Forest and other survival games, subscribe to the channel, drop a like on the video, and stick around for more. If you're a fan of Bethesda titles, check out the second channel, Space Cowboy, where we cover all things Bethesda over there. We're going to be covering loads and loads of Fallout in the near future, and I'm very excited for the Fallout update, which is coming in just a few days' time. Now, when it comes to Sons of the Forest, we did think that after their 1.0 update, we wouldn't really see much. Maybe news regarding consoles, or even a VR version of the game, but other than that, I wasn't expecting much in the way of patches. But I'm glad that they've added patches not just for fixes, but also to improve the game and still continue to add new additions. Now the skunks, as you can see in the background here, this footage is from the Sons of the Forest channel. I would highly recommend checking them out. They've got loads of awesome forest content, and I could not for the life of me. I was wandering around for over an hour trying to find these skunks, could not find them anywhere. But they look pretty beastly, and I did get a chance to play around with the rabbits and the breeding structures, which are really quite cool. Now, these holding structures come in two sizes for the rabbits, a small one which will hold two, and then a larger one which holds six rabbits. Place these guys in there, pretty damn simple, they'll do their thing. Now, the way you catch the rabbits is not, unfortunately, by running after them. I did try that, didn't work, not even slightly. Now, what you do is you need to place a small animal trap down, which will trap the rabbits there, and once they're in there, you can pick them up. I'd recommend having these relatively close to your base because once you've picked that rabbit up, you can't swap out to weapons or anything like that without letting the rabbit go. So bear that in mind when you're setting up these rabbit traps. They will also catch things like squirrels. They are the same small animal traps that have been in the game. Now they just catch rabbits as well. So you've got a chance to catch rabbits among other things. Now, alongside that, you will also have the Scarecrow improvements. Now, the Scarecrow has been in the game for a while, didn't really do too much. But now, it will prevent things like eagles and seagulls from coming down and grabbing food or landing near your base. So, if you want to keep everything intact without those pesky flying animals coming in and stealing shit, well, there we go, that's the way to do it. Now, when it comes to improvements, they've improved some animations. Spear and fish visuals are now synced on characters in multiplayer, so you will actually see it as it goes through, rather than things being a little bit all over the place. The creepy attack parties will now be sent towards your planting structure instead of the player, and improved bird awareness to prevent multiple landing in the same location, which, that was a big issue on the original forest, it was great for farming feathers because you'd get three or four birds land in one area and you could just take them all out with a grenade or literally rapid fire the pistols, well, the, the bows or any sort of weapon would work really well. And unfortunately, you can't do that now, which it was a good farming method. So either way, it depends on how you want to play. If you're not that bothered about birds coming in and sealing your stuff, then you could just let them land wherever and take out as many as you can as they land in. Now, when it comes to fixes, there are over 20 fixes on this one, 23 to be exact, many of them relatively simple, just fixing little bits such as colliders, multiplayer disconnects with traps, issues causing players in bad states with the grab bags, lighter and campfire interactions, canned food placement on certain shelves. So there's a few little bits and bobs in there, which is great, but I'm hoping we do find some news from End Night relatively soon when it comes to a PlayStation and Xbox version. We haven't heard anything about when it was going to be ported to consoles. The original Forest came to, I think it was PlayStation first, and I don't actually think it ever came to Xbox in the end. But it came to PlayStation relatively quickly, so I was hoping that we would see at least news on that or a VR version coming relatively soon. The VR version of the forest, pretty damn cool. 
And with Sons of the Forest still sitting at around about 14,000 players average on every day, that is really, really good considering the game is way over a year old now and the amount of improvements and stuff that they've tweaked to the game is great and hopefully they do continue to do that. It would be great to see at least an update every six weeks. I don't know if we will see anything going forward. But like I say, the most important thing for me, and I know a lot of other players, especially on console, is news on that console port. Whether it's going to come or whether there's no news, what's, whether there's no ambition, sorry, whatsoever to do that, we don't know. End Knight don't really talk too much with the community. They spoke loads up to the game, but unfortunately there's not much news about any future progress or even a roadmap if they are going to continue to improve and update the game. It looks like they will do. I don't think they'll move on to anything different yet. Obviously, Sons of the Forest has only been out for around about a year, just over a year, and it's been a great year. The game is brilliant, had absolutely phenomenal numbers in that first um, first month, and it's been loads of fun since the 1.0 release, with an absolutely insane amount of players peaking in at 55,000 on that 1.0 release, sitting at 44 in March, and then this month, over the last 30 days, it's still at 32,000 players. So there's a lot of people still interested in the game, and every time an update does come out, even if it is a small one, loads more players jump in, have a test, have a play around with it, and they'll play for a couple of hours. I do it every time there's an update, and I really enjoy my time playing it. I jump on, improve my base a little bit more, tweak a few little bits and bobs and i know for the multiplayer aspect a lot of people jump in and really enjoy going through the story and just killing cannibals together so having that on console i think would drastically increase the game's popularity it worked so well with the original forest so i don't see why there's no news on it yet it would be great even if the release is a while away just letting the community know that it is something that they're working on and it is something they're planning for the future i think would build up a decent chunk of hype but what do you guys think do you think they'll be bringing it to consoles anytime soon do you think they'll continue with these updates let me know in the comments down below your thoughts for now we are going to wrap that one up there and as i mentioned at the start of the video we cover all sorts of survival stuff here on wired gaming um i cover mainly <clears throat> I do cover certain games in much more detail, but if there's any specific games you want to see, let me know in the comments down below. We've got a few videos coming out on 7 Days to Die, as that is heading up for its 1.0 release, and I'm very excited to see how that goes. We're also going to be covering Dune, eventually, or Dune, 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 one of the two, whatever you want to say. We will get into that, I have started doing little bits for videos for it. Uh, but there's so much news that comes out every so often, it's probably going to be a pretty lengthy video. Every time I get a little bit more done, there's more news for it. But looks interesting. Uh, the films, I've watched a little bit of the first one, ended up falling asleep, but I did enjoy it. I just had a long day. So we've got loads of stuff planned for the rest of 2024, and I'm very excited to see how things go. The Bethesda channel is also really, really, really enjoying it there. Loads and loads of support. So if you haven't checked that out, I'd highly recommend it. But now though, I've been wired, you guys have been awesome. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you very soon with some more Sons of the Forest.